system. Then uh, one is based on the real number line, means based on the type solution or based on the mathematical sign. You can say integers is categorized in four types. One is positive integer. Positive integer, if you are telling, means zero is excluded. It will start with one, two, three, four. Non-negative integer means it is including zero and positive side, zero, one, two, three, four. Non-negative, non-negative means जो नेगेटिव नहीं है जो नेगेटिव नहीं है मीन जीरो भी होगा एक दो तीन तो होगा ही जीरो भी होगा मीन जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर इट इज योर नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीजर नेगेटिव इंटीजर अगेन एक्सक्लूडिंग जीरो इट विल स्टार्ट विथ माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू माइनस वन इट विल गो अप टू माइनस वन एंड अगेन नॉन पॉजिटिव इंटीजर मीन्स इंक्लूडिंग जीरो मीन्स माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू जीरो दिस फोर टाइप दिस फोर टाइप ऑलवेज यू कीप इन माइंड ऑलवेज क्वेश्चन विल Try to make you confuse non-negative, non-positive, and counting will always differ by one or more. Sometimes one or sometimes more. If you are taking different set of solution, but most of the time your correct number of solution and whatever you got the solution may be differ by plus minus one. Due to I'm telling maybe differ by two. More than one differ by two. If you have taken the lower extreme or maybe a, a solution will be upper extreme, then difference will be two. If you are in between, the difference will be plus minus one. Just a counting. Just a counting means you are counting the solution. Then the based on this property or based on the RNL or mathematical science, generally counting of solution type of problem will come. Means any of the equation is there. How many value of x will be? How many value of, of x will be possible to satisfy this equation? Means value of x how many will be there? They are not asking what is the exact value of x. No, they are asking how many different value will take. Means that type of value you have to count. Number of value. X can take that you have to count and RNL you can just do it like this like zero onward it will be non-negative if one onward you are doing it is a positive again here minus one onward means less than that it is negative and if it is starting with zero it will be non-positive integer this four type only next is coming to your based on the number pattern based on the number pattern. Or you can say based on that pattern in series. If you will see category of number or types of numbers, and uh, just uh, in beginning of this session, I told infinite type of number can be possible, and still lot of a scope is open. Infinite a scope is open. You cannot say it is a lot. That word also will be very less. You can say infinite. Infinite a scope is a still open. You can do anything. Anybody can do anything. Anybody can invent anything based on the number. But broadly, because we are not here to do some uh, research paper on the numbers, or we are not going to uh, spend five years with numbers, or many of the mathematicians they will uh, spend their five to ten years in life only with one type of number, prime number. They will do the research on primes. Their full like night sleeping and eating and walking, everything will be prime number only. And they will leave with prime number, and after ten years they will invent something, some different pattern of primes, and it's so interesting. Once we will go for prime numbers, many of the times once I will start to go through the prime numbers, I will I will also totally go inside, and I will forget I am only reading the prime numbers, or I am going through the other other properties also. When prime numbers are again, it is giving a very very good idea. How this universe can be framed and full universe a spiral shape is based on your prime number distribution. That much in depth I will not go. That much in depth not required for CAT. But basic property is what is going to affect your type of question, which is very frequently coming in CAT. That will go through. Then broadly used integers type of integers other than a special number, other than a special number. Then broadly used integers. You can categorize based on that uh, this following way. One is number one. You can say most primary it is odd and even number. We know, but again odd and even number, and you can extend this one little bit. You can say natural means just you rephrase this statement or this line. Natural number, odd number, and even number. And one separate session will take based on the properties of the natural number, odd number, and even number. This is very much important. Next is your prime number again, more most most important. Understanding the prime numbers and properties of prime numbers. Next is your composite number, triangular number again more important because based on that plenty of questions are coming not only in numbers in algebra also. After that perfect square number, perfect cube number, and another number is that is perfect number. No need to confuse it is perfect square or perfect cube. Perfect number itself a different category of number. After that we'll highlight little bit about the pi and e. Pi and e, how it is related to with prime and how it is related with odd, even, and triangular number. That I will try to establish the relation. Just little bit because uh, academically for CAT purpose it is not not uh, very much helpful. But you will get the idea what is the importance of pi and what is the importance of pi in this universe and what is the importance of pi if you are just 
writing like this first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant then what is the application and we know 2 pi will be equal to 360 degree 2 pi will be equal to 360 degree and value of pi we know at lump sum uh, still value of pi is not defined because after decimal uh, still digit is keep on going it is non recurring decimal it is not full but as for appro approximation we know it is 3.14 just to suppose 3.14 if you are just doing complete here revolution one revolution means you are just doing 6.28 radians this is 360 degree this is radian radian will use representation in polar format two type of format are there to represent any of the points in your 2d plane or 3d plane 2d plane or 3d plane if you are taking the two coordinate then it is 2d plane if you are taking the three coordinate this is 3d plane but just will uh, go for 2d plane then 2d plane you can represent either based on the cartesian coordinate like x y if you are writing any point here and you are giving like two three meaning is this point meaning is this point from 0 it is 2 away and from this point it is 3 above this meaning this is I think uh, no need to explain you know but in same representation of any point in a space or in 2d plane you can write in polar format also polar format will follow not only distance from origin it will follow the orientation of from with respect to origin means if you are taking this Cartesian coordinate then this point is there then from this x axis how many degree it is rotated anti clockwise and this will be always made, uh, measured in radians just suppose just suppose i am giving you idea this also you you might be knowing you have done the you have uh, like if you have studied mathematics in 12th 11 12th then you might be knowing polar form and cartesian form then polar form because it is 2 pi 2 pi rad uh, 2 pi radian then you can say it is 6.28 if you are taking in the form of integer like one point you have taken this point is 3 1 3 will be distance of this radius and 1 will be your 1 radian then what will happen after 6 radian if you want to complete full then what will happen you will not able to complete fully in the form of in the form of integer because after 6 it will be little behind and next number 7 it will go little away means you will not come back to exact x axis after certain number of revolution if you are expressing in the polar format and that only giving the contradiction in a space or contradiction or you can say basic pattern of universe that will give you the spiral shape that is so interesting and that is related to your prime distribution how prime numbers are distributed and again this number will and this concept will extend one of the very good application like golden ratio that is also related to that that will go little bit during your pi and e session and during your prime number session and other numbers few numbers are there like hexagonal number pentagonal number and how it is related to your pascal triangle every number you can represent on pascal triangle to one uh, separate session will take based on the pascal triangle because pascal triangle is not only useful to represent this on a number it will be useful to understand your simple interest and compound interest also it will be useful to understand your binomial theorem also it will be useful to understand your permutation and combination also it will be useful to understand any number if you want to if you want to distribute or if you want to expand like multinomial theorem also or if you want to find the middle term of any of the expansion or maybe extreme term of the any of the expansion pascal triangle will be useful that much application of pascal triangle is there based on that huge application in numbers algebra and geometry i will take one separate session will based on the pascal triangle that session will be so interesting it will be so funny also how it is generated pascal triangle how pascal was using that triangle and how he is convinced to other mathematician of that point that time that era to use this pascal triangle to solve many of the questions that was unsolvable at that point of time at that point of time it was unsolvable and based on this pascal triangle many of the unsolvable issue or unsolvable questions of mathematics or philosophy was able to solve